Welcome to the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I am your host, Katherine Duggan. I created this podcast to inspire you to walk boldly in your Christian faith. Each weekday, I will talk about scripture and how these verses can relate to your everyday life. Spending time each day with the Word of God is a great way to fortify your faith. I'm so glad to have you along on this journey. Let's get started. The title of today's episode is God's Power in Varying Degrees. The scripture verse is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 2. Let my teaching fall like rain, and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. I received a book from my mother-in-law for Christmas called Pray a Word of the Day. Each day, it has a word and a scripture verse that uses that word. Then it has a brief little devotional or story about that word. Today's word was fall, and the scripture verse was the one I am talking about today. The devotional talked about these four friends that took a walk to the local park. Then the rain rolled in, and by the time they got back to the house, they were drenched. The next few lines really stood out to me. They said, Every corner of the neighborhood was saturated. Droopy hydrangeas perked up. The lavender glistened. The thirsty lawns were revived. What came to mind when I read this was that something one considers bad might be good for another. For instance, I am sure the people who had to run home in the rain probably weren't praising God for the rain. I know when I was on my last road trip, I was not praising God for the rain, especially if it was my turn to drive. Yet, I am sure the flowers and the lawns were very thankful for the rain. I thought the topic of this podcast would be how some things we complain about, other people would be praising God for. However, when I read this verse, I kept getting stuck on the line, my words descend like dew. I didn't really understand what that meant, and yet I thought, That was okay, because I didn't really have to understand to talk about what I thought I was going to be talking about. Then I stopped and remembered the reason I started this podcast. I started this podcast so we could all understand scripture better. I think that happens when we can relate scripture to our own lives and make it more personal. We don't start to understand scripture better when we skip over the lines that we don't understand. When I first read this verse, and then that thought above came to me, I figured that was what the Holy Spirit wanted me to talk about. But then I couldn't get that question out of my mind. What does the words descend like do mean? And maybe you didn't get stuck on that. Maybe you already knew what that verse was saying. I'm going to review what I learned anyway, because I'm willing to bet you'll learn something too. Or you'll at least hear it in a different way. The first part says, Let my teachings fall like rain and my words descend like dew. For some reason, I didn't understand that this was talking about God's teaching and God's words. When I read an article about this verse, it talked about how God blesses us in various ways and various degrees. Sometimes his teachings fall on us like rain. Have you ever seen grass after it rained? It's so green and full of life. The ground just soaks up the rain. We can do this with the Lord's teaching as well. When God is raining down his teaching on us, we can soak it all up. And we can use it to live our life more fully. God's teaching can make our life more abundant. When it talks about his words descending like dew, What is coming to me is that his words were always there, just like the dew. The dew is there each morning, and God's words are always there as well. Also, the dew covers everything, and so do God's words. They can cover us. They can cover everything we are going through and everything we ever have gone through. The article I read also talked about how amazing Jesus' words were when he walked here on earth. People were amazed at the words he spoke. In John chapter 7, some soldiers were sent to capture Jesus, 
and yet they returned without him. And their only reply was, Never has anyone spoke like this. Jesus' words were powerful, and he spoke of things that no one else had talked about before. Not everything he said was easy to hear, and yet most people took it in and accepted it as truth. The verse ends with, Like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. The article I read says that this part shows us that God blesses the new babe just as much as those who have been faithful for years. It also talks about how God's blessings come in various degrees sometimes. Sometimes it's a light mist of blessings. Sometimes it's showers of rain. And other times it's abundant rain. God gives us blessings based on what we need at the time we are asking for them. One thing I liked that the article pointed out is that there is one substance we are talking about. That's water. Whether we are talking about falling like rain, descending like dew, showers, or abundant rain, it's all water. The water in this verse is talking about God's power. God's power comes out in his teachings and in his words. God's power comes down like showers at times and like abundant rain at times. The article also says, that in the whole book of Deuteronomy, Moses is recounting the Lord's blessings in a song. However, this particular chapter, Deuteronomy chapter 32, is the climax or high point of the entire song. I didn't know that before, so I thought it was an interesting point. I love learning new facts about the Bible. I really liked how the devotional ended. It is a great way to relate the Bible verse to our lives. Here is what Susanna, the writer for today's devotional, wrote. Like my parched neighborhood, I need God's Spirit to fall on me, drenching me with refreshment and hope. His truth rains down guidance and blessing. Encouragement and wisdom are found when His words fall, refreshing my thirsty spirit. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless all those listening to this episode. Lord, Let your words of wisdom and hope fall on our thirsty souls and revive our spirits. Lord, we love you and we thank you for all of your blessings you have given us. Whether it is a light rain or a downpour of your blessings, Lord, we will take them all. We know you know what we need and you always give us what we need. We are grateful that your ways are higher than our ways and you know better than we do. You do not always give us everything we want but you do give us everything that we need. You are the best. Thank you for raining down blessings when we are thirsty and when we are in a drought. Lord, you are so amazing, and we ask all of this in accordance with your will and in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to walk boldly with Jesus. I would like each of you to consider doing a witness for Witness Wednesdays. I know it may sound intimidating, And you may feel like your life is boring and you have nothing to share. I assure you, that is not true. We all have seen God working in our lives. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for the person whose faith will grow just by hearing it. Please give it some thought. If you would like to give one, but you aren't really sure how or what you would say, email me and I can give you some questions to get you started. I look forward to meeting you here again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed day.